these were all the supports and honestly i could have done away with i believe these two those were just useless this is what you guys want how do we get there What is up you guys? So what are we looking for in Kira? Today I'm going to be going into very detailed manner and fashion of what I've learned so far in printing. I'm not telling you I'm a pro, but I've learned what fails for me. And I'm going to start with that do not in Kira. And I'm going to tell you do's. Now these are general principles. This will not work for everybody's printer. Printers are different. The majority of this stuff will. Number one. Number two. This won't work for all models. Different models and things work differently, as well as different materials. I have not tested in depth other materials other than PLA and PLA+. Plus. So if you're working with ABS or PETG or something like that, I, this isn't the video for you. Maybe it'll help you, but I, I can't guarantee you that. So I'm printing the Iron Man suit. Number one, do not building the Iron Man suit or any cosplay model that is large. Do not, please do not, do this right here. This is the right shoulder part. Do not think that this is the best way because there's no supports going on except for here. This is terrible. Okay, what's going to happen right here? You're going to get lines all over there. It won't get together. You're going to need a lot of wood filler. And even then, your print is just, it's going to look like absolute garbage. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, yo, I can just slice this right here. It's gonna have only supports right here, right here, some little right here. Um, don't even get creative like I did and uh, put it a little bit in the air and make sure that it doesn't drop the model and have supports on the bottom, thinking that's gonna, no. No, 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 no. And don't be nervous that if you orient it a different way, it's gonna fall over. Just don't think that that is a thing because PLA and just in my experience of printing, it's insane. It is insane how sturdy it is when it's printed. If you have good bed adhesion, it is just stuck on there. So you're looking at this, you're like, yeah, this is this will work. No, 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 no. Let me show you what you do want to be doing, though. What you want to be doing is this right here. This was my left shoulder. It came out flawlessly. You, there was, I, I can just prime it right after it came off the bed, and it would have been good enough. That would have been just enough of what I need. But, um... I like my stuff very shiny, so I still do. As you see, it's I print oriented vertically. This is a big do. Print your stuff vertically. You want to go vertical as much as you want to with every single print. Why? Two things. Your printer can do better with that. It can do better because it's pushing pressure down on your bed plate. That's what you want it to do. Two, it can handle handle arches like this that are slowly building up look at these right so when at first you look at it you're like man there's a serious arch going on here it is like this like right here or something like that or it's hanging over over here it can do it because if you look through the step by steps and you could use the arrow keys right here super useful tool all the way in kira just bam you can see that all of these lines yeah this isn't too hard so don't look at the big picture of your stuff sometimes maybe slice it in half and be like yeah, right here, I'm worried about it. That's the farthest, you know, sharpest corner, but it's fine. This is a big do. Definitely do that. Kind of to amplify the point. I printed this. I printed this, and it came out flawlessly. This is the elbow for the right hand, I believe. You think it's going to fall over? Oh, no. I was moving the whole bed if you saw that previous video where I shot that clip. This printed completely fine. And again, like I was telling you, this this is not bad. CR10Ss can do this, Okay. And probably a lot, many, if not most, 3D printers can do this. Keep pushing the limits. Keep pushing the limits on overhanging like that kind of stuff, okay? And this was probably about 70 degrees overarching angles in the uh, supports. I mean, it, it used no supports. I guess a little bit of detail right there. Do do this. Definitely don't be scared of that, okay? That's absolutely awesome. Also another do. Do not try to print the whole thing, the whole part. This is a chess piece in one if you can't slice it now i'm not going into details on slicers and how to cut those parts yet but when you cut them you want to think about print orientation of where you're cutting them because it's going to help you as you see most of the time wherever i cut my part it's going to be flat it's a perfect cut that's how it's going to stick to the bed of my printer this worked out perfectly for both of my chest pieces 
Now you can actually see there's a little bit of uh, tilt there. So I was okay for this to start, you know, being tilted, but have more supports here so that when it gets up to the high tops, it doesn't want to start building supports all the way going up like that. Do not, <laughs> do not have your supports doing that, okay? Now these are my abs left. I'm actually printing these, and I know I just said don't do this. You can block probably these out. You may lose a little bit of detail because if you look at this arch, it, hap it does go over just a little bit. That's not a must. Um, however, I, I got a little lazy on this model and I just threw it in. You don't need that. These right here, this one is, I, you definitely need, okay? Because if you look down to the layers as they build up, in fact, I'm pretty sure they build up out of nothing at some point. Yeah, it, it, it barely connects. That is, this right here, this is very flimsy. It can do it. What's going to happen is it's going to be kind of drooping on your first layers. Now, this is the inside of the apps. So if you want to just save some filament and not do supports there or very minimal ones, you, you can get away with it sometimes. You can get away with a lot of stuff if you go vertically. Now, had I been trying to do this, uh, let's go back to our chest piece right here. Any other way, let's say I didn't cut my parts. Let's say I oriented them going vertically up like that. Um, but there's all these curves. Well, I would have been doing supports all over here. And then that would have been issues if I would have printed it flat. So you, you, when you get into 3D printing, you think, oh, well, I mean, flat's easy. There's no supports. That's super simple. Um, doesn't go high and tall. It won't fall over, all that. You're going to lose all your details. Your details happen going vertically. Try to do that with every single model, even though it doesn't look like it should. Now, there's some difficult ones. All right, these shoulders, these are hard. Helmets, you're going to have to do something like this for your helmets. I mean, that cap is going to have to go down somewhere. But what you want to do is go as much as you can vertically. Okay? I'm going to amplify that and keep talking about it. Number two, uh, that you're thinking about it. Settings matter. Okay? Settings are nice. They help. But they're not going to make or break your prints. Do not try to put supports like every 45 degrees. You don't need them. Okay? There's no reason to have them very bulky. There's no reason to have a lot of density. This is what I've learned in Kira. Another thing that's very helpful with port print orientation. So your X axis is going this way. If I had to flip this going that way, it would have taken the printer a lot longer, right? It, it would have taken it a lot more time and it would have been just kind of useless to do that. It may have even lost detail. Your printer head is moving left and right, right? The bed is compensating for all the other, you know, angles that it's got to do, like the U-shape. Do not print your stuff going against the X-axis if possible. Now, with the abs, I have a big build plate, but abs are huge. There was no way I could have had this one print perfectly like that. So, I had to do it diagonally, basically. Which isn't, isn't the worst case scenario. It wasn't awful. Um, the bed compensates for that. Um, and it is kind of going against the X-axis. But sometimes you do get in these scenarios, and that's okay. But I'm just giving you guys tips of what I've learned that's helped me improve my prints. Do not rush this part. Don't. Don't be like, I cannot wait to send this file to my printer right now. I want it to print right now because it's a 12-hour print. I don't care. Let's go. Um, now, don't sit here and try to get the lowest possible filament use because of supports. You try to get a healthy balance of minimal supports but also details, okay? You do not want a garbage looking print. You don't want it to look like it was printed at, you know, the fastest speed possible with no layer heights because your post work, you're sanding, you're filling, it's gonna take forever, okay? This stuff is very important. Hours, hours. It took me an hour to figure out that app part, okay? You take your time here because this, 3D printing is not a drag and drop hobby. It, it's not a drag and drop files and 3D printing is there. It's a hobby that you build up skill and you learn. And this is what I've started to learn on. There's so much more for me to learn on. Another thing that I'm going to finish off is do not just process this without checking your code in Kira and throw it to your printer because there's some weird glitches that Kira can do. You can have a green line, like a space between it. So it'll print and then it'll skip a whole line and print up. You can have very crazy things going on with Kira. Uh, layer shifting, all of that. Do not send G codes before checking your G codes. Please, please look them over. Please. You will save yourself a lot of headache and filament. So there you go. That's my overview of Kira settings. If you want more details or more basic stuff on Kira or anything else, 
Let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out building your cosplay or props or whatever you're doing at 3D printing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.